Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Good morning. Gotta fix my errands. They're always kind of spouting out there. So welcome into the building. It's tea time with the diva. And listen, guys, because I don't know. Look, I'm like, what is on my face here? Um, I don't know. For, listen, this is my tea today. I got a clear mug only so y'all can really see that I'm not joking because I'm serious about this, you know, losing this weight here. It's lemon. It's fresh mint. And that's all I have in there. That's my tea for today. And sometimes I add a little bit of ginger, okay? So that's how I'm starting my mornings off. Now, I ain't going to lie to you now. Every now and then I break down and I go to Starbucks. You know, it is what it is. And when you break down, don't beat yourself up. Just pick yourself up the next moment so you can gather yourself back together. So today's tea time is dedicated to none other than Riri. Okay, I'm saying Riri, but did they call Aretha Franklin Riri? Well, it's dedicated to Rihanna, okay? Listen, people, when you have money, you got options. It's a point blank in a period. If you want to have options, then figure out a legal way. I'm not telling you to do no crimes out in these streets now because if you like me, you do not want to find yourself behind bars. I like to shower when I want to shower, go to the bathroom when I want to go to the bathroom, the doctor, the grocery store, shopping. I want to do it on my time. Not nobody telling me, hey, hey, number 5278, you could go to the bathroom now. You can shower now. No, that's not what I want. So get your money the legal way. But having money is having options. So Rihanna, when she did the Super Bowl performance, she decided not to stay at the uh, Best Western, the Holiday Inn, uh, 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 the Ritz Carton. She decided to rent out a mansion, okay, to the tune of $500,000 for one week. That's what you call money. When you could drop 500K, some people have houses that aren't even 500,000, and I'm one of them, okay? Nowhere near. My house is nowhere near 500K. So when you can have $500,000 just to drop on a rental for the week, that's what you call money, people. And I'm here for it. God bless Rihanna, because they say God bless the child that has his own. Let's check out this article here, and, and then we'll chat. Hold on one second. I know I get cute now every since I could share a screen. All right, we're sharing here. This is not just Diva making this story up. Okay, what is this article here? They said CNBC make it. And honey, did Rihanna make it? Billionaire. And she's chilling, okay? So they said Rihanna spent $500,000 to rent an Arizona man's house during the Super Bowl week. It was enough to pay off two years of his mortgage. I mean, holla, okay? Two years of his mortgage, 500K. You know what, though, I don't understand? I don't understand why. I'm not into Airbnbs, but that's me. That's me. Okay, and I get it. A hotel is, what's the difference, right? There's millions of people that have slept in that hotel room, but I just would rather rent a hotel room. Even when I have friends that say, oh, we rent out the house. Uh, I'll pass. I'd rather stay in a hotel. I don't want to clean my own room when I'm on vacation. I don't want to cook my own food. That is my one moment in time where I just want to be free, relax, come back to the room is clean, my bed is made, and somebody's cooking my food. I don't want to go on vacation and do all that. But hey, some people do, okay? So let's continue this. Let's read it. This man here, he never thought of renting out his Arizona mansion until he got an offer he couldn't refuse. I mean, how could you refuse 500K for one week? I would have packed up my luggage and moved. I'll pack up. And I don't really like, you know, people to be around my stuff like that, especially in my bedroom. But hey, 500K, I'm packing my bag and I'm going right down the block to my mama's house. What do you want? One week, two weeks? How long you want to be up in my place? Okay. So. Now, he said he couldn't refuse it. So the 48-year-old cybersecurity expert, he got money too, okay? Maybe we need to go into cybersecurity because for you to be able to afford a mansion like this, you got some cash. You're making some cash, okay? So he's a cybersecurity expert, brought the 6,400-square-foot, 6, five-bedroom home in the affluent town of Paradise Valley for $7.3 million dollars in 2022. So this man has money. So listen, guys, if you just starting out your career, 
you know, for me to go into cybersecurity, I think it might be a little bit too late. But hey, if you young out there and you don't know what career to do yet, maybe look into this cybersecurity and get this man right here as your mentor because he's making some type of cash, right? Um, so he bought his home in 2022. He told the Wall Street Journal. The home sits on about an acre of land in Paradise Valley. That's a lot of land, okay, which is between Phoenix and Scottsdale. A property management firm for the man um, already, um, I don't want to botch his name. That's why I'm saying for the man. Um, work with, uh, um, work with, approached him with an offer of $500,000 to rent out his home for a week during Super Bowl. And that's 57. I didn't realize it was 57 Super Bowls, okay, in February. What he didn't know at the time is that the person looking at the um, looking to lease his house was Rihanna, the Grammy winning superstar and 2023's halftime show headliner. OK, so he didn't know that at the time. The last thing I am is in real, is, is a real estate baron, he said. He told the Wall Street Journal, my prize not that big. I don't mind moving out my house for five hundred thousand dollars for a week. Listen, my brother, I don't think anybody would mind moving out there humble a bowl for five hundred thousand dollars for a week the house is ideally located about 30 a uh, 30 minute drive away from the state farm um stadium in glendale arizona so that's where the super bowl was and that's where rihanna had to be um go for her performance where rihanna gave her history making performance the grammy award-winning singer used the super bowl to announce she is currently pregnant with her second child with her partner ASAP Rocky, okay? The 2023 Super Bowl was the third most watched television show in history, which estimated um, 113 million people, according to CNBC. Well, wow, I didn't know that. That's big. Well, go Rihanna. That's even more money for her, okay? Looking cute in the red, okay? The third highest in history? I mean, that ain't no joke. I would like to know. I'm gonna have to look up what's the, um, the um, number one and number two. OK, so he said he didn't find out until after he agreed to lease his home um, that his week long tenant would be Rihanna. My 13 year old, I bet she was. OK, daughter was absolutely thrilled, he said. He told the Wall Street Journal that the rental income from that week alone would cover his mortgage payments for two years. OK, well, you know what, though, I guess at seven point three million dollars. I mean, when you hear it. For most people, um, 500K would pay off probably their house, their car, some of their bills. Um, but for him, two years of mortgage is it, not much in comparison. It sounds like a lot, but to for $500,000 only to cover two years, it's like, oh, I mean, I mean, it's nothing to laugh about, but you know, wow. So, but I guess with only 7.3 million, I can understand, right? Since we on this day, he said he has yet to move back into his home. Wow, okay. He has since been offered crazy amounts of money to sell the property. So representatives for Rihanna and him did not immediately respond to CNBC's make his request for a comment. And I don't blame him. That man, his house has turned to solid gold just because Rihanna rented it out for a week. Because people are thinking, hey, uh-oh. You got the hot property. Let me see if I could get in on this. Now, let me say this too. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, can't wait to see what her second baby is going to be. Maybe it'd be nice if, you know, these two, if she has a girl and, the, and those two can have a, a boy and a girl. And I'm not trying to start no trouble, but I wonder what's going on with ASAP Rocky's case because I think he has a case, but we'll leave that right there where it belongs, right? And I wonder if those two will ever get married. What do you think? Do you think Rihanna's going to get married or you think she's going to avoid it? Because when you are in billionaire status and you get married and you don't have a, a rock solid prenup, if you get divorced, you stand to pay your partner a whole bunch of money to probably live the rest of their life. So you know what? I'm not mad at Rihanna. Have your babies. You having your cake and you eating it too. And listen, a lot of men do that all the time. So let me stop sharing the screen and we're going to give our final thoughts. I mean, what do you think about Rihanna running out of home for 500K for the week? I do, or I do wonder though, like why wouldn't she just go to a hotel and rent out maybe the whole floor? It couldn't have been more than 500K or, uh, or equivalent. But I guess at that point, 
you know, once all the guests in the hotel would have found out that Rihanna is there, um, she would have never had any peace. So I guess I do get her renting a, a secluded mansion for the week. So that way she can control the narrative. Nobody can kind of, you know, know where she's at and she can come and go as she please. And on an acre of land with probably all the security that she had, there's no way, even if you found out where she was staying, that she would have been able to get close to her, uh, her little baby that she already had, who is absolutely gorgeous and ASAP Rocky. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the chat. And when I get an opportunity, if you chat with me, I will chat back. How do you feel about, you know, Rihanna and this rental? Good googly ma, do you see what money can do for you? You can spend in one shot $500,000 and it means nothing to you on a week rental. So guys, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, hit the like button. OK, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber, because you don't want to miss the tea time from the diva. And you don't want to miss one of my videos. Now, listen, guys, if you are in love and marriage, D.C., D.C. fan. OK, um, this coming Thursday, I'm interviewing um, his actually his name is Alfred. Um, they call him black on the show. I'm interviewing. I can't even talk this morning. I'm interviewing Alfred Black, you know, and Sherelle. Um, their last name is Duncan from the show Love and Marriage DC. I'm having a couples interview. You know, we had one the other week, but it was improv. It was Winter and her new boo, Yusha. Okay, they're absolutely adorable together. And so this week's couple is going to be um, Black and Sherelle. So I'm looking forward to that interview. I think they're an amazing couple. I mean, if you see the thumbnail, the pictures that they sent for me to utilize were absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they look amazing together. Can't wait to hear from them. So hopefully you can join me for that Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, guys, I'll see you on the next video.